Hello, Alexis here and welcome back to my channel. I'm a fitness coach and just like the rest of the world, I was in awe when pictures of Natalie Portman from the new Thor movie came out of her amazing sculpted muscular arms. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna work out like her for a couple days, see what her training regimen is like and share it with all of you. So then I scoured the internet for minutes and could not find anywhere where she disclosed her training routine. It was very vague. I do some resistance training and some yoga and some running. Very gatekeep girl boss of her. You know what? I respect it. So I was like, well, I'll just do Chris Hemsworth training routine for Thor. I mean, I trained and ate like Jason Momoa for a day. I could do the same for Chris Hemsworth. I'm capable, kind of. So then I scoured the internet for another couple of minutes to find that information and happened across his ad for his new training app. His new training app is called Center without the E, without the second E. And I started a seven day free trial and will be using it for the next three days for all of my meals and all of my training. And then at the end of the video, I will let you guys know if it's worth the money, if I think that it will actually help you progress in your fitness journey, just how the user experience was for me. I am a fitness coach. I've been certified for six years. I've been working with clients for five years. So I do have experience in the fitness space. So you can trust me. You can trust my opinion. I think I'm gonna show you my experience via voiceover Alexis. I think it'll be a little easier to get through everything. So um, let's get started. Voiceover Alexis, come on through in three, two, one. Hello, hello, and welcome to day one of doing everything Chris Hemsworth tells me to do. So the first meal was breakfast, which was this peanut butter cup smoothie, and it was delicious. And then I realized I had to go get groceries, so I fanny packed up and headed to the store. And then I made lunch, which was this quinoa, white bean, broccoli salad, and it was really good. I would never think to put these things together, and I was honestly delighted as you can see. So then I headed to the gym and listen, I was struggling with the workout because it supersetted everything and I have social anxiety and I'm not about to take up two different machines on different sides of the gym. So I modified as I could um, so I could superset these things in the same area. So instead of cable military press, I did dumbbell press and then was able to superset it with the pull-ups as Chris asked me to. Next was incline barbell close grip press supersetted with bent over cable row. I'm not I'm not gonna leave the incline press to go use the cables and expect no one to take it. You would think Chris would know what gym etiquette is like and that you can't be doing that. So I did that and then I supersetted it with dumbbell bent over rows against the machine. This still made me anxious, honestly, but we got through it. The next thing I was able to superset without panicking, a uh, single arm cable bicep curls supersetted with some cable tricep push down. I will say overall this workout was feeling good. My upper body was feeling pretty torched. And then another thing that was able to superset without anxiety, a uh, cable chest fly supersetted with single arm tricep extension uh, with underhand grip. So I think that was the end of the workout. As the post-workout meal, he had me again doing a post-workout shake. It tasted pretty not good, if I'm being honest, but it was high protein, so I got it down. And then for dinner, guys, it was this vegan shepherd's pie. It kind of took a while to make, but it was totally worth it. That shit was so good. I'm saving the recipe for the future. So delicious. But there were no snacks listed after that, which really goes against my Colorado girl sensibilities at nighttime. But I went to bed without snacks and I was sad. Welcome to day two. 
I ate this chia pudding bowl in the morning and I love chia pudding bowls. Uh, he called it a chia parfait. I'm saying he, I'm sure there's a whole team that goes into this, but I'm going to keep saying he. Um, but it was a chia pudding situation with some mixed berries on top and some granola. And it was a great way to start my morning. It was delicious. Highly recommend making chia pudding if you haven't. Ate that shit very quickly. After inhaling this, I decided to get cute while well, I stared at my dog. And then I decided to get cute for the gym. It looked like it was a leg day ahead of me. So I wore the shorts that make my lower body look the best. I had to stop at the store after this, so I wasn't happy about that, but I felt great in the gym. And as the pre-workout meal, it said leftovers, and I was pretty pumped because it meant I could eat the vegan shepherd's pie again, so here's me excitedly eating it on the floor. Does anyone else sit on the floor to eat? Let me know. This leg day had in store for me another dose of social anxiety because they wanted me, he wanted me, to do sumo deadlift supersetted with planking. And I was not gonna plank on the platform, I just wasn't. So I scurried to the room next door to do my planks and then I scurried back to do the sumo deadlifts. The next thing I could superset easily, it was uh, feet in a high position leg press supersetted with uh, calf presses. So I was able to do that comfortably and safely on my little leg press machine. Next, we had lunges supersetted with glute bridges. So I was able to grab some dumbbells and do it in the corner of um, my little private room that I find in my gym that I love working out in. And this burns, not gonna lie. And then it was jump squats. Uh, you know, I'm glad he made me do jump squats because I literally never do them. Also, fun fact, I forgot to take my Zoloft the night before and I was having those brain buzzy things, which is that dazed look you just saw on my face. And then I did calf raises. He said, do seated calf raises. We don't have a machine like that. So I just did them like that. And that concluded the workout. I was tired. I was pretty burnt out. Then he had me drink this disgusting shake again after my workout, but I did it. And then... It was these enchiladas, these bean enchiladas. Uh, they were pretty good, you know, just tasted like your run of the mill bean and tomato sauce enchiladas, but I was vibing with it. And yet again, he left me with no snacks after that. Done, I was done with eating for the day. I was sad. All right, day three, almost done. Started the day with again, this peanut butter cup protein shake. Uh, it's another two protein smoothie day. For lunch, he gave me the quinoa white bean broccoli salad thing and I still had some left over and I was again delighted by the flavor. And then it came the workout, incline press, supersetted with tension bicep curls. And I was not, it was busy and dudes were swarming waiting for this incline bench and so i just did all my sets of incline bench and then went and did my tension bicep curls because it just did not feel like good etiquette to try to hold on to the we've been through this you know my anxiety anyways then something similar we had flat bench supersetted with some tension hammer curls so i just did the same thing where I did all my sets of bench and then I went and did all my sets of the tension hammer curls. There she is, anxious but polite. And then it was dips supersetted with chin ups. And listen, I can't do dips at the beginning of a workout and my chest and triceps were already pretty shot at this point. So a good way to do assistance on these is to put a little band, as you can see, um, and that can help you get through the reps. And then chin-ups, which were also very hard to do at the end of this workout. Chris, Christopher, challenging, very challenging. And then the last thing on the menu was some incline dumbbell chest fly supersetted with Zotman curls. Uh, I actually just sat up and did the Zotman curls on here, but as you can see, the angle's not the best. My hamstring is hamstringing though. Uh, so here's me proving that I conquered my anxiety and did that, but here's a better clip of them because Zotman curls are honestly really good for the old biceps. So I recommend doing them. 
And that concluded the workout. And I was honestly pretty sweaty and tired by the end of it. And then again, he had me doing that gross shake after. And I had had enough. So I drank one of these rebel shakes and said, I'm sorry, Chris, but you drove me to a place of defiance. And then he had me doing this um, stir fry. And it was pretty good. Tasted like your run of the mill stir fry. So I enjoyed it. And then again, no snacks. So there you have it, 72 hours strictly following Chris Hemsworth's new training app. Now, time for my thoughts. So first, let's go over the price of this app. They give you a seven day free trial. I have a little notebook here. They give you a seven day free trial. And then if you wanna pay monthly, it's 30 a month. A three month package is $60 and a 12 month package is 120. I think that's pretty fairly priced for what you get. So I'm gonna go through the pros and cons that I found with the app. Feel free to agree or disagree with me. Pros, I love that there was a vegan option. I highly expected it to not have a vegan option and to have to like veganize the meals that it gave me, but it had vegan options and not only that, the recipes are really good, especially that vegan shepherd's pie. Like I'm saving that recipe and making it probably like once a week for a while. I feel like I'm going to hyper fixate on that meal because it was so good and like comforting and yummy. I didn't love that two out of the three days had like a protein shake twice in the day. Uh, it's very like, okay, vegan needs protein. Just use vegan protein powder. But they had, I'll show you, they had an article on one of the pages that had eight other high protein vegan breakfast ideas. So I was like, why didn't you put one of these in one of the, you know, meal plans? So I saved that for future reference because the recipes in there looked really good and different too. So I love the vegan option. They had options for like every dietary restriction, which I really liked. Um, I really like the layout of the app. It's very easy to follow, gives you exactly what you're gonna be doing that day with the workout and the meals and everything. So really liked the layouts, a cute, easy to follow app. I really like the helpful videos uh, during the workouts. If you don't know what something is, you just click on it, it gives you the video. I really liked that aspect of it. Uh, especially if you're a beginner, that can be really helpful. Good recipes, I already said that. And then I like that they had a meditation every day. Um, I know I didn't show me doing those, first of all, because it's boring to watch me just sit. And secondly, because I have a mental block against meditating. My brain goes a million miles a minute and you know, it's on my to-do list of things to work on, but I do like that they incorporate meditation in there. Cons is that they had no idea what my calorie intake needs were. Like they didn't ask me for my height, my weight. Um, they did ask me if my goal was to like lose weight or gain muscle, but I feel like that wasn't enough information to ask of me to know how many calories I needed in a day. I know my caloric needs are higher than what they gave me for muscle building because I was hungry at the end of the day. That, that no snack after dinner tested me. So it's not as personalized as it could be by just asking a few more questions. They also didn't tell me like what serving size to eat with the with the recipes and stuff, right? So I could have eaten just like half the pan of the shepherd's pie and then my calorie needs would probably be met. Like they didn't tell me. So they, you know, they're giving you a meal plan based on not a lot of information from you, the user. My second con you already know is the kind of awkward layout of the workouts, just like the supersetting every single thing, mainly because the supersets were not like you saw, most of them were not on the same machine or even in the same area of the gym. And layouts of gyms vary, but most of them are pretty similar. So I feel like, especially if you're a beginner who's already kind of uncomfortable in the gym, that would be a little challenging and maybe like kind of off-putting. So if you do do it, you don't, I would say maybe do the exercises just in order as straight sets and you don't have to superset every single thing. I also thought it was interesting that they have you supersetting everything because that's not necessary. <laughs> that and that's basically, those were my cons. They're kind of big cons, uh, especially the calorie intake one, but um, I did have more pros than cons. So 
Overall, I think it is a good app. It's better than other workout apps I have seen for sure. And for 30 bucks a month or less, it gives you a lot. The one thing I would say is find out what your calorie needs are on your own. Uh, I have videos that help you kind of figure out based on your goals, what your calorie needs would be. And then just use the meal plans as guidance, but you know, give or take things as you need to hit your calories for the day. So I wouldn't just blindly follow whatever, you know, meals that they give you. But the workouts were good, everything else was good. So um, yeah, I might recommend, try a seven day trial maybe, see if you like it, but just personalize your own calories. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful or at least entertaining. If it was, give me a like if you don't mind. It helps me so much. And subscribe and let me know if you want me to try any other celebrity workout app. I kind of had fun, so. Love you guys so much. Maya, say goodbye to the people. Goodbye. Love you. See you in the next video.